A former Mishawaka High School athlete who was paralyzed in an ATV accident will undergo some groundbreaking surgery. You may remember Sarah School. Sarah played basketball for the cavemen. In May of 2001, Sarah flipped the all-terrain vehicle she was driving. She suffers... need to get that in as soon as possible. Um, the tournament will be April 1st and 2nd in Mishawaka at Rose... ...severe injuries that left her paralyzed from the waist down, but her injuries have not kept her down. Now Sarah is in college in Indianapolis. She's gotten married and will soon undergo experimental surgery. It's a new stem cell surgery not yet performed in this country. And to help her raise money for the surgery, friends and family in Michiana are planning a two-day softball tournament next weekend, plus a related raffle of a very special jersey. And joining us now live this morning are two of the people in charge of the fundraiser, Sarah's sister Stephanie and T.J. Jorgensen. Thank you very much for getting up early today. Thank, Thank you. you. Talk about this softball tournament next week. People, can they still put teams in today? Um, yes, they can. If they give me a call, um, the phone number that they would reach me at is 360-8711. And as soon as they give me a call, I can go ahead and put them in for the roster. And we're going to be preparing the team soon, so we need to park. It'll be a double elimination tournament, ASA rules. And it'll play, be played all men and a co-ed tournament. So it's going to be very exciting. All proceeds are going directly to Sarah. We're going to have lots of raffles out at the tournament. We're also going to have food, and everything is going directly to her. We'll be meeting at the Knights of Columbus, so anybody come out that day and uh, show their support during that tournament. And the fee to get a team in is only 150 bucks. <coughs> I mean, right. that's cheap. Right, $150. Well, 10 bucks a guy. Or gal. Anybody. <laughs> yeah, there play. you go. $10. And you can come out and play and have a good time and raise some money. Hello, uh, TJ. You've come up with a, uh, a very special jersey donated by someone that you know for this right. cause. Uh, one of our players on our team, J.R. Shapiro, a uh, friend of ours and a player on the team for the last few years. A uh, big Notre Dame fan. Let's bring it over here. Get it. He's got a uh, Tim Brown autographed certificate of authenticity, <laughs> autographed jersey of Tim Brown. Uh, for Tim, for him, for Jr. to be able to offer something like this uh, was was big. It was it was very big hearted of him. He said basically, I want to do something that I can help Sarah. What can we do? So I said, let's let's take this and maybe offer a wrap. See if there's something we can do. To try to get more people involved in raising money for Sarah. And sir, you're talking about a guy that is going to go into at least one and maybe two halls of fame, Heisman Trophy <laughs> winner, and and he was back last fall really for the first time because he just retired, mm -hmm. and he's a great guy as well. So I mean, this is. With so much counterfeit stuff floating around out there, <laughs> to know you have an item uh, of a great Notre Dame player who I know would be behind this cause as well if we gave him a call. I mean, that's just terrific. Right. And, and you know, obviously, Tim's a great guy. I've talked to a, a couple people at Notre Dame who know Tim personally. And they said if, you know, if he was being more about the size, that he'd be more involved. Good. And, but of course, you're involved with street kids softball. Tell right. folks a little bit about that team. Very uh, successful team. Yes, it is. Our team has been around since 1978. It's one of the oldest and proudest teams in the area. Uh, well, basically, we used to be just a league team. We decided to take it up a notch and try to compete at a national level. And what we decided to do is, if we get up to this other level, we want, we're want we achieving more notoriety. And uh, our website has just been unbelievable. The amount of people that's clicking on our website has been great. So basically, when I heard about this, I said, I called Stephanie and said, look, we have a medium right now, which is our website. It's very popular, and uh, I want to see if I can do to help bring some awareness to, to Sarah. Stephanie, I know this was a terrible thing for your family. Sarah, so outgoing, so active, to, to not be able to walk. What does it mean to you that so many people in the community, not just in 2001, because that's normal right after a tragedy happens, but are continuing to step up to try to help her? You know, it really means the world to me to have everybody show their faith and just to uh, step out and help another member in the community. It's amazing the way that Mishawaka has really come forth in Michiana and everybody stepping forth, and especially the Street Kids softball team. It's, it's just been heart-touching. Um, Sarah really does deserve a second chance, mm -hmm. and I feel and anybody deserves a second chance. So I feel that this is going to be amazing surgery, and it's going to be great outcomes, and Sarah's not going to let anybody down. Stem cell <laughs> surgery uh, performed over in Portugal, and in fact, uh, another South Bend, uh, Mishawaka, area native, uh, the son of Dr. Stephen McTeague, is also going to undergo this surgery. So a lot of folks think it, uh, it's going to work well. I'll be praying for, uh, for Sarah that Thank this, this, this does work. And that's next weekend is the time for uh, the uh, softball tournament and the raffle. Moving on now.